Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Michelle Belden and I'm an expert coach at Fortuna Admissions. I want to thank the GMAT Club for asking us to participate in the Guess Where They Got In. So I look forward to going over my client's profile and then revealing where she got in. So just a brief introduction about Fortuna Admissions. Our dream team of 36 admissions insiders, including former admissions directors, have more than 160 years combined admissions committee experience at top tier schools. And between us, we reviewed over 200,000 applications and admitted over 57,000 students. Our experience gives you a level of MBA admissions insight that you won't find anywhere else. And last year, our clients secured admission to all top MBA programs, including HBS, Stanford, INSEAD, Wharton, Kellogg, LBS, Chicago Booth, Columbia, and MIT Sloan. I just want to introduce myself briefly. Again, my name is Michelle Belden, and I have over a decade of experience in admissions. I've been an expert coach at Fortuna since 2012. And I feel very fortunate to be part of such an amazing team. I really love this side of admissions, getting to know my clients by listening and understanding their experience and credentials to really develop a clear story and a clarity of purpose. I was previously an Associate Director of Admissions for Wharton's full-time MBA program. I also have worked with Bain & Company's LA office. I was responsible for the sourcing of the firm's top talent. I graduated from Wharton's undergraduate program with a concentration in sports management and marketing. Okay. Now let's get to the applicant profile and I'll just recap uh, my client's background. So she um, is a female from China. She, was, she is 24 years old. So she is on the younger side of the applicant pool, which she was aware of, and that was you know, something our strategy going in to keep in mind. So she did move from China to attend college in the US. The college that she did attend was not a well-known university. So she was looking to apply and attend a brand name business school that would really be recognized for her life beyond the US. She studied economics and applied mathematics um, as an undergrad and had a 3.63 GPA. Uh, her GMAT was a 770. She scored 51 on the quant, 44 on the verbal, and had an IR of 8. So she really had an extremely strong academic profile. We had no concerns, or the admissions committee would have no concerns with her abilities to handle the curriculum. So she really kind of hit it out of the park in that component. As for her work experience, she worked at a leading global consulting firm in um, finance related area. And in addition to her role as a consultant, she also volunteered to take on additional responsibilities with another team in Europe, which had a strong international focus. So she really did have this strong mix of projects that helped her build two very different skill sets. And this was really an important aspect of her candidacy. And we wanted to highlight it, as I mentioned before, given her fewer years of work experience compared to other applicants. So her quality of professional experience and the depth was impressive. It really showed signs as well of leadership potential, which business schools are looking for. For her extracurriculars, um, she was selected for a competitive volunteer position at a major museum. She also incorporated new technology into the workplace. She took advantage of sharing her appreciation and love of the visual arts with people from around the world, which was really great to see kind of an outside passion that she had and showing her personal qualities. It was also important for her, she really wanted to help empower women. So she joined and became a board member with a local women's organization that promotes women in technology. So that was really great to see her step up and take that leadership role um, as well. She also had a very strong undergraduate um, involvement. So she had a good 
track record of involvement, really showing that wherever she was, either undergraduate and when she graduated professionally, getting involved with in areas that were really important to her. So looking at her post-MBA goals, her short-term goal was to go pivot and to go into management consulting from what she was doing within economic consulting. So that was really her goal after business school. And long-term, she really had this clear vision of ultimately leading an international business into a new market and really focus within China. So really drive a Chinese companies to really find their global success. So coming in, she had a very clear vision for where she wanted to go and how business school was going to help her get there. And like I mentioned before, she was very focused on attending a top brand name business school, and she really um, decided to go ahead and apply um, and cast a wide net, which is really a good approach, um, even though these are all very selective schools. So Harvard, Stanford, Wharton, Sloan, Kellogg, Columbia, Yale, and London Business School. So if you are all ready, let's go look at the results. So the results for my client, she was very fortunate and was invited to interview at five of the schools. She interviewed at Wharton, Kellogg, Columbia, Yale, and London Business School. And what's even more exciting is that she actually was accepted at each of these schools that she interviewed with. And we are going to get there, but what did she do well? I will tell you one thing. She obviously prepped for her interview well, which is very important. Um, it's not to be scripted, but when you prepare for your interview, it's really being able to have this opportunity to tell your story in person. And she really, we practice together and, you know, asking questions and articulating your goals and really becoming comfortable with the story you told on paper in the application and bringing it to life. Um, she also, as you see, received quite a big um, scholarship from Columbia as well as a scholarship from Yale. So really, she was a star. And there, she did get accepted to London Business School, but it was conditional. And given that, as I mentioned earlier, she had fewer years work experience, they really wanted to see her continue to work for at least another year. Um, so which is a very interesting that you don't always see that. Ultimately, she did choose to go to Wharton. So her a dream school, um, you, and that's very exciting to have so many choices at all these top schools is really quite exciting. So let's go into a little bit about what did this applicant do well? What did my client do well really to make her very successful? Um, I will tell you that she really came in knowing that, you know, what the benefit of business school was going to be for her. And so we just really built on that and the clarity of purpose in her story and the impact ultimately she saw going into management consulting was going to make, as well as long term, having that global vision, really bringing it back to that international focus of, you know, really helping Chinese companies and that personal connection she had growing up in China. So she really did focus on highlighting her international background, connecting it to her studies, so coming to the U.S. to study, and then now as her, as, or her current work as a consultant. Really identifying the skills that would apply to go into management consulting, having really strong technical skills, and the clarity of her future goals. So as I mentioned, you know, she – it's you're going to big bucket when you say you want to go into consulting. And she knew that, but she had a very clear reason why. And it's all about the clear understanding and articulation about what you will gain for management consulting. And she did this well. She really was able, you know, to articulate that. It also to show how it would prepare her for her long-term goal. You know, she really had a compelling reason. It made sense. And truthfully, it was authentic. There's no right reason. It's really bringing your story to life, and she did a really great job of that. And the reason I think she did that is she really had a strong self-awareness. She did have a true passion to drive change in China by leading Chinese companies to thrive globally. And she had this vision, and she was able to really get that across in her story. Again, things she did well, as I mentioned, she really had a strong GMAT. She did take it early. She prepared so therefore, it wasn't something that she had to balance while she was preparing her applications. Um, you know, she was worried about the undergrad institution because it was not well known. 
Although, as you can see, it's not necessarily about the name. She, her, she did quite well there, the courses she took, um, et cetera. And to balance that with her GMAT, you know, her quantitative abilities, there was no question that, that she was going to thrive. Um, and so, therefore, that was, you know, she preparing early for the GMAT and getting that done is, is really, really important. Another thing she did well was her recommenders and guiding them in the process. This is a big piece that I, you know, make sure that my clients really know is, you know, it's a huge important aspect to the application is getting the perspective of, you know, hopefully direct supervisors, someone you're currently working with or have worked with that really can give that what is it like day to day to work with you? You know, where is your potential? Have you taken on additional responsibilities? And when you guide them, you remind them of what you worked on with them and what you want them to highlight of your achievements. And she really did uh, do this well, um, which I think you can see from her success. Um, other things that the recommenders, you know, that we she did guide them is making sure that they did highlight, as I had earlier mentioned, is her stepping up to take on leadership roles, to take on additional responsibilities. Again, really also based on the fact that she had less years work experience and she did do a good job of having that come through clearly in the application. And then finally, really the research, uh, the schools to determine fit. It is such a big component and she was on top of this, I think before the first day that we started working together and then continued that outreach. It really makes a, a significant impact on your application is, you know, reaching out to current students, alums. I think they're making it very easy right now. You know, the webinars, you know, virtual tours and attending those information sessions, you know, really gives and offers you a sense of what it's like to be there, you know, what the culture is like, the community, and how that resonates with you. And so therefore, how you can highlight in the applications, in the interview, the fit, and what truly you're going to gain from their program. Um, so she did a really great job at that. And also, working with me, she started early. So not only starting early on your school research and outreach, but our relationship and that we were able to start early together and really develop her story and the, you know, what approach we wanted to take, her positioning, and to have that time before you jump into the actual application. So she, that was really important as well, especially seeing how many schools that she was applying to. That's a, that's a lot of schools to apply to. So she really was, you know, thoughtful and had a good plan. Um, in place. So a couple things she could have done better, um, not a lot. She did quite well, but obviously she was earlier in her career to apply. So possibly she could have waited an additional year or two to gain more work experience. But in this case, it worked out quite well for her. Um, and in that case, she would have also been able to have a little bit more enhanced leadership opportunities to be able to really highlight in her application. Um, but overall, um, she really Took a, took a real great um, role in, in preparing and working together as a team and really making sure each aspect, you know, was covered. And like I said, really to get her story across um, that she had really thought about how business school fit in to her plan. So those are the results of my client and where she got in. So I just want to thank all of you for listening today. And I just want to leave you with a little piece of advice um, as you're looking to put together your application. I mean, business school can be very overwhelming as you're looking to apply. So make sure you give yourself time for the rigorous self-discovery process that it, that it really is. So reflecting on what you've done during your career and the people and events that have helped shape you is critical to the application success. Taking the time to figure out who you are, what you enjoy most, will help you articulate your story in your applications and answer the questions that they're all looking for you to answer, which is why an MBA and how an MBA will help you achieve your goals. Um, it was so nice to talk with you all today. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you the best of luck. And during these times, everyone, please stay safe and take care.